Hello there, buddy. I'm Mr. Gamify, and this is Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Part 3. Now then, um, oh. Okay, here we go. So yeah, like I was saying, um, this is uh, Marble, uh, Marble Garden Zone. Not to be confused with Marble Zone of the uh, first game. This level will be finding many spike balls, like so. And uh, it's sort of the ground world of the game. It's very interesting. You'll also find various uh, spinning tops throughout the level, which um, are found in uh, Sonic Generations, the Sky Sanctuary level. Alright, now these things. These things are really annoying. Kind of glitchy as well. Um, if you try to spin dash under them, they'll often kill you, even though you didn't touch them at all. That's... Th that's probably the scariest thing in the game. These things are very cool. You spin dash them and then they do stuff. Now look at this background here. This is just amazing with these mountains and then the ruins down there at the bottom. I, I just really love the look of this place. Oh dear, these guys. Alright, now... Like the fireflies from um, Mystic Cave Zone of Sonic 2, the guys with the spikes on them, uh, they're invincible when they have their spikes up. Not good. There are certain walls that uh, you can only break when you're riding these tops. And, well, that can be kind of annoying. Because I don't really like using the tops. They're, well, they're kind of annoying. <laughs> Watch out for those spikes there, gee whiz. Alright, now these enemies that have the spikes that are disguised as spikes, they shoot stuff. Uh, any shield can deflect the shots. You can spin dash through them to kill them, or you can actually just bounce off the heads! Okay, what do we got here? Very good. These things aren't too hard whenever at this particular elevation. Um, you'll see some that are at different elevations later on, and those can be kind of difficult. You'll see what I mean. Okay, last Chaos Emerald. This one is, um, it's kind of odd. I can't really put any real theme to it, except perhaps Symmetry. Yeah, actually Symmetry would be a very good theme to put on it. <laughs> Alright. Now these. Uh, basically, anything that you see me do, you'll see me do again. And, um, it'll be pretty much the same thing both times. There are two pathways. One that I take by going this direction, and one that I take by going this direction. Both pathways have this little gate-like thing with those four blue spheres. And, um, finding the blue spheres that I'm about to go get right now. These, these four were actually a major problem the first time that I played the game. And now I'm getting lost. Okay, there we go. That's the thing about the level is that uh, the symmetry of the level can make it rather difficult to figure out where you're going. Because, um, you know, there's two of everything. <laughs> Regardless, I got all the rings. Now I just have to go through this. Yeah, if you know what you're doing in this minigame, it's not too bad. But, um, it can be very difficult for first-time players. Okay, so I got all the Chaos Emeralds. If I was playing as Sonic, I would be able to go Super Sonic any time I had 50 rings and no shield. I would just double jump and then I would go Super Sonic. Super Sonic uh, runs extra fast, jumps extra high, and is invincible. He also loses rings constantly to fuel his super form. As Tails, I don't get that. What I get is what I call 1-Up Tails. Now you see... When you have all the Chaos Emeralds, grabbing a big ring from here on out will give you 50 rings. This goes for Sonic as well, but because you'll probably be Super Sonic, um, 
by the time you get to the next ring, you probably won't have all the rings that you got from the last big ring you collected. As Tails, he has no super form, so you'll just keep collecting rings and collecting rings and collecting rings. And since you get a 1-up every time you get 100 rings, and then again once you get 200 rings, it's very easy to get 1-ups in this manner. So yeah, that's why I call him 1-Up Tails. You'll be seeing me with lots of extra lives. Oh, these spinning tops. If they're standing on this thing, then that means that they have a set path to go through. Like so. Big set path. Very nice. Alright, well I think we'll be seeing uh, one of those mini-games that I was talking about earlier. Uh, here in a second. Yeah, here it is. Alright, so, jump into this. Bonus stage! Now, as you can see, we have this sort of gumball machine here. It'll toss out things, like this uh, electric shield that I have. That's a bubble shield, the blue one. Rings, fire shield, another fire shield. These bounce you. Those can be quite annoying. Um, they can also have one-ups, which are pink. And um, a green ball that says rep. Those springs at the bottom. Oh yeah, here we go. It makes the springs appear again. But anyway, yeah. That's the general idea. Going into this boss with the bubble shield. It's that guy that we saw destroy the area earlier. If you have a shield, the spikes that fall from the ceiling will just bounce off of it. But you still gotta watch out for the mini boss himself. He can still puncture you with those drills of his. Overall, this boss isn't too hard. If you have a shield. If you don't have a shield, that can be incredibly annoying. Look at this ridiculous ring bonus. That's another thing about playing as a 1-Up Tails. You get ludicrous amounts of bonus points for the rings. But of course, who plays this game for the points anyway? Alright, now these things, very simple, they just carry you up a pathway. Now you see there's this up arrow. If you're playing as Sonic alone, you can't do anything about that, but as Tails, well, hey, look, check this out, it's a cool extra path. This path uh, focuses on Tails having the ability to fly. Very nice. I really like what they did here. There aren't a whole lot of extra paths for Tails to take, but this is certainly one of the most pronounced ones. Ooh, what's this? Why, it's an electric shield. There isn't really any shield type that's particularly advantageous in this area. Um, the fire shield, the, there aren't really very many fiery traps. Only one thing throughout the level, and that's the boss that we'll be fighting later on. And even then, it's not he doesn't, uh, fire isn't his active attack, it's more of a passive thing. There is no water in this level. This is the only level in Sonic 3 that has no water at all. And, uh, well, that just leaves the, uh, electric shield. Ooh, another bonus minigame. I'll get a shield out of this. Once I get an electric shield, I'll probably come out. Ooh, one-up! Yeah, that last one didn't have a single one-up. Now these see-through bubbles, um, they don't, they don't give you anything. That's, um, that's really all there is to say about them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, okay, so we're going through a wall. Oh, we're here. Yeah, I, I just took a, a very big, and I mean very big shortcut. If uh, I had taken a different path, the area would have been convoluted. You can jump. You can jump off those spinning things to go onto different pathways. This one is very helpful. Very nice shortcut that you can take. Now this one, after going through this section right here, you want to make sure that you jump off. Because if you don't, you'll end up running into a uh, an enemy. And I don't know about you, but I don't like running into enemies. This enemy, I believe. Alright. 
I was just gonna wait until they uh, shot their shot, but uh, doesn't seem like that one's interested in doing it until I've jumped first. Alright, now, if I had gone the way Sonic goes, I would have seen Robotnik already, do this already. But, uh, I didn't. Now here comes a big part that uh, messed me up for a while. Um, not necessarily this portion right here. This isn't bad at all. But, uh, it's basically what happened in Hydra City Zone. Act 2 at the beginning. Except instead of a wall coming to the side, um, well, it's hard to tell what's going on here. Either the ground is going up, it, or the ground is going down. I can't tell which. I get the feeling that this piece of ground right here was going down, though. Due to the fact that the background wasn't moving. But, um, yeah, that part, it can be incredibly dangerous if you don't know uh, what you're doing. Okay. So, it's boss time. Now, this boss is very hard to, very hard to fight as Tails alone. And you'll see why in a second. Alright, so here we have Robotnik. You can hit him a few times. Now, this is interesting. In this version of the game, Sonic 3, the fire shield does not protect you from that fire coming out of his thing. In Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it does. And now I have to fight him as Tails alone. And I have to hit him... Oh, dear, this is bad. I have to hit him with my Tails. If I was playing as Sonic, uh... Tails would be flying me around, and I would be able to jump out of Tails' hands and at Robotnik. But Tails alone... It's a very difficult boss battle. You can tell which direction he's going to come from by the way that he uh, jumps into the background. If he jumps to the far left, like he's doing right now, he'll come from the left. If he uh, flies upward, he'll come from the top of the screen. If he uh, jumps downward, he'll come from the bottom. Now, the way that he moves across the screen is the same every time. There is absolutely nothing random about this boss battle. If you just stand here, float around this area, you'll be perfectly fine. Oh dear! Okay, yeah. This tails, it, it's the hardest boss in the game. Ugh. Basically. As Sonic, it's uh, it's not too bad. Kind of a difficult boss, but um, it's manageable. But uh, tails, yeah, no. Also, something interesting, uh, if you're playing as Sonic alone, Tails appears out of the blue to help you. Now, Knuckles, he has a completely different boss. You'll see that eventually. I'm not even gonna bother attacking him until he goes into the ground. There, like that. Okay, so... Now I should be able to hit him more effectively. Or fight him more effectively. Since I actually have some hits to take. There we go! Ah! Uh, flew up too high. Now whenever you fall uh, down to the abyss down there, it will take a while to uh, get control of Tails again. He'll just fly straight up for a moment. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, one fast enough. Oh well, he's coming over to the side again. Come on. Yes! Got him! Not too hard, but he can be rather difficult. Alright, now this transition from this level to the next is one of the, um... I don't know, it's my least favorite. See, so he just sort of goes tonight... And then we're in Carnival Night Zone. Speaking of Carnival Night Zone, that'll happen in the next episode. Until next, uh, until next time, everybody, I'm Mr. Game Pie. See y'all later.